Welcome back to the channel. If you're interested in learning how you can build your own rotisserie, then this is a video for you. I built this rotisserie using plans off the Samba for a split bus posted by SG Ellis. Some of the dimensions are different, so I'll go ahead and put up the material list with the updated measurements for a bay window, and you can pause and screenshot that if you'd like. The reason I chose this design is because it's simple, requires minimal material, and takes up very little space once complete. It's also quite easy to rotate. So let's get right into the build. I would recommend that you have your parts numbered when they're cut, just makes it easier to assemble. Shout out to Jeff at Metals Supermarkets Chattanooga for letting me hang out and label all my parts as they were cut. I started by making the plate and mount where the beam attaches. The dimensions for the bay window are quite different from the split, so here are the measurements for an early and a light bay. If you can have these drilled and cut for you, I recommend you do that. If not, buy yourself a good half inch drill bit and get to measuring. It has to be pretty precise as the holes don't allow for much play once you're bolting it on, so make sure that you measure really accurately. As you can see, one of my measurements was slightly off, but no need to worry. If this happens to you, get one of these tungsten carbide rotary file bits and open up your hole a little bit in the desired direction. Once the plate fit well on the frame, I went ahead and clamped it to the other piece of quarter inch steel and drilled my holes. Now remember to lubricate with WD-40 or some kind of oil as you drill, so you don't ruin your $20 drill bit. Since the opening is slightly different between the split bus and bay, I had part 18 cut extra long just in case. If you use my measurements at the beginning of this video, you shouldn't have any problems. But I do recommend using an angle finder to ensure that all your bends are at exactly 30 degrees. Now you could assemble this rotisserie with a MIG welder, but I opted to use my stick welder with a 1 8 70 18 rod and the welder set at 120 or 105 most of the time. Once I was happy with my angle, I went ahead and tacked it in place. Now make sure to not fully weld anything just yet in case something isn't wanting to lay flat. I use a 2x4 to measure the height at which part 13 attaches to the side, but once again if you use my measurements you shouldn't have to take this extra step, but it's never a bad idea to take more measurements than less. Now using some weights to hold the metal flat, I got to welding the rest of it together. It was finally time for the first test fit and to weld it to the plates that are attached to the bus. At this point I had the bus perfectly leveled, so I had my dad hold the level to the Y axis of the rotisserie, and once it was level, I tacked it to the frame mounts. I recommend doing most of your welds on the sides before welding it to the plates on the frame just for ease of welding. It's always easier to weld when you have something flat lying down than when it's upright. We can now move on to making the plates that go on every joint. For this, I measured the center of each piece, cut slightly into it with a cutoff wheel, and then using the vise at my brother's house, I bent them to 30 degrees. Also don't forget to degrease your metal before welding or you will end up with porosity like this. Using a couple vise grips, I went around and welded all the corner supports on. And just like that, you have the first section of this build completed. It was time to mount it to the bus so I could finally get it off the jack stands and move on to the back. I don't recommend doing it like this, but if it works, it works. To be able to attach the rear mount of the rotisserie, you have to remove the rear suspension. So it's time to get the back end of the bus on jack stands and get it off the blocks. Now do not try this at home. This might almost be too dangerous of a thing to do. <laughs> I went ahead and removed the rear suspension. Also, don't forget to drain your gas tank and remove it as well. Mmm, look at all that beautiful amber gas. Now to create the rear frame mounts, I used a dust cap off the rear suspension and marked everything up. The bolts are a bit smaller than the ones up front, but I used the same half inch drill and everything worked out great. Once I was happy with the fit, 
I went with the same process of stacking the plates and drilled my other side. I went through the same process of tacking it, checking my fitment, and then welding it in place. Now the rear suspension mounts on the split bus and the bay window are quite different in size. So I was trying to make sure that everything lined up just right so that when I rotated it, there was no weird angle going on. Once I had all my angle cuts welded, I test fit it and it looked great. So I clamped it into place and got it tacked in. I won't fully run my bead until the part is laying on the ground in front of me for a cleaner weld. As I said before, it's a lot easier. And now it was time to weld up all my corner supports. You can see on the plans, it's called for the rear mount to be bolted on. And I considered doing this, thinking that it was so that you can easily slide it on the rear, but opted out of doing it so I wouldn't have to drill as much. And it slides in and out just fine. You also save money on some nuts and bolts. Now with everything lined up just right, I fastened it to the bus and it was finally time to get the bus on its side. I thought it would take a lot more effort, but it just easily rotated. Side note, please ignore the fact that I ripped my pants. I think it happened when I lifted the bus. And just like that, you now have access to the bottom of your bus and can remove rust without having to get it in your eyes. Now, if you enjoyed that video, please do consider subscribing for more content like this and hit that like button below. It really does help out the channel. And don't forget, we are selling custom wood burnings of buses. So if you're interested, you could email us at bangabonders at gmail.com and I'll see you in the next video.